Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flader Mouse. Welcome back. Today we have some very cool looking slugs made out of a big piece of rubber with a steel core. These were made by Evan Perry. Originally he sent these to Matt B2099 to shoot. Matt, of course, quit making videos. So Matt sent all the stuff that he hadn't shot to us so we could, you know, fulfill the obligation of getting things like this shot. Now these are pretty light, they weigh less than half the weight of a traditional one ounce foster slug. These slugs appear to be very well balanced, just like the commutator slugs that Evan made. And uh, again, I loaded these into just federal target load shells. Today's music is by the Objective Guitarist out of UK, I believe. Alright, what do you have now, Daddy? Alright, this is more <laughs> of that stuff from uh, Evan. From Texas. Texas. Uh, He's a, he has an Etsy page. I keep forgetting about it. There's, there'll be a link in the description. He makes all kinds of neat crafts and stuff like that. This is the guy that made those commutator rounds. Yeah, and the, the hypersonic knobs and it, I, it seems like everything he's made has worked really well. Kind you know, person. Yeah, these are uh, these look deadly. Yeah, they got a big steel spike on them. I think they're made out of like some kind of a rubber roller thing. I, I'm not sure. I think that's what he told me. Got four of them. We'll see how they do. We we'll got to hit the lead plate though. Yeah, nothing's punched through that 25-pound lead plate yet. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see if Evan can be first. Yep. We are about 10 yards away. Distances look exaggerated, I know, on YouTube. We filming this one at 8,800 frames a second. And try to chronograph it. He's aiming at the orange dot. So I'm, and we're going through a full rifle shotgun. I think I've covered everything. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Almost got the bird. I missed the bird. The steel core came apart from the rubber core, probably through, uh, you know, the the inertia, the uh, Newton's cradle effect. Newton's cradle effect. Yeah, that's yeah. the best way to describe it. Rubber core hit here. Look at the dent on that, though, just from a piece of rubber. And the core. Like an impression. Core went kind of. Went pretty deep. Right there. Yeah, it's not solid. It looks like a steel tube almost. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's hollow for quite a ways up in there. Can't what what did it do to the back of it? Well, it didn't go through. Left a little crack there, but it huh? it cracked it right here. Okay, okay. Got a nice little bulge. There's, that's where his uh, commutator shot. Those were amazing. You got to watch that video because that I didn't think those, I didn't give those <laughs> any chance. Those were impressive. Yeah. Now, as you can see, the... Uh, steel core and the rubber part became separated and that's due to the very extreme uh, nearly 10,000 G's of acceleration occurring inside the barrel. All right for the ballistic jelly! <laughs> okay let's see hopefully this one will stay together. Yikes! All right, here it comes. Well, there's the rubber part, there's the wadding, and here comes the steel slug, finally. Fortunately, it hit the ballistic gel. And yes, we love Yorg's Brave, and yes, we are part of that YouTube uh, Creators Union. Okay, a wireless LAN or something. I don't know, some kind of electronic stuff. I don't get it. Okay, I'm ready, hit it. What happened there? <laughs> I'm not sure. We're going to have to look at the slow-mo on that, but uh, I think I hit. Something hit right on the dot. My point of aim was there. But look Going at that giant out. hole. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. 
All right, this time the slug actually stayed together. It was spinning, but it was just unstable. You'll notice that the very light plastic wadding is what did that enormous amount of damage to the plastic. A lot of people ask us if the wadding alone would hurt you. Yeah, it would definitely hurt you. Think about what it would take to smash that plastic, like with a big hammer. Oh, something came flying. There goes that bird again. <laughs> Now of all four shots, this is the best one. The slug again is rotating pretty well, but it's just not stable. It's a, it's kind of wobbling around a little bit and it really wasn't that accurate. So just like the commutators were balanced, and a lot of people said, oh, because they're balanced, they worked well. Well, probably the reason these didn't work well is because the center of gravity wasn't correct with that big spike sticking out the front. Okay, that one, might have stayed together. This is not the most accurate. Yeah, not as good as those commutators. Evan, stick with the Bissell Missile. Bissell Missile, yes. You, you got something there, I'll tell you. Yeah, that was impressive. This uh, rubber Sabo, if you want to call it that. But you don't know until you try, you know, you never know. Been, might have been glued there. It could have, he could have glued it. There's some kind of, yeah, he glued it. Can't fault him for that. Well, he tried. Yep. There you have it. Be sure to watch the Bissell Missile vi video, which will redeem Evan and his bizarro slug making abilities. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty amazing. They are impressive. Yep. We want to thank the Objective Guitarist for letting us use his awesome music. Be sure to check him out. And of course, we want to thank our Patreon supporters. Starting last month, we started doing monthly giveaways of some of the props that we used in our videos.